And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Now, Patchwork caught my eye because it's a two-player game from Lookout Games and Mayfair, but more so because it's designed by Uwe Rosenberg, who you guys might know as a designer of Agricola, La Havre, Caverna, um, you know, just many, many great games. But this was a much smaller game. This is a two-player only game. And in this game, you are attempting to build a quilt, uh, a, a patch quilt. Yay! Um, but it's more about, an, it's like an abstract strategy game. It's Think of Tetris in a sense where you're trying to put pieces on a board, but also has a little bit of an economic flavor to it. Let me show you. this game is to get the most buttons. So buttons are here in different denominations. There's 20s and 10s and 5s. And there's going to be one piece that's placed out here. The rest of these pieces here are randomly put there. Different pieces of quilt fabric, different Tetris type shapes. And this pawn here is going to be placed between the smallest one. This is a 2 by one piece that's placed here. And then the next piece. Now over here you'll notice that there's a scoring board. Uh, this is or, or, or track and players can be moving on this track and the way it works is this when it's green goes first because they're on top So let's say green does something that costs three actions Then it's yellow's turn yellow does something that costs two actions yellow gets to go again So they do something with that's one action then maybe something that's six actions one two three four five six So then green gets to go and that's how you keep going when someone reaches the middle the game is going to be over and whoever has the most buttons wins now what you're doing is when you it's your turn. You're going to look at this piece where it is, and you look at the next three pieces that are here. And you can put your thing next to either one of them. So let's say I put it next to this one here. This is going to cost me six buttons and five at time on the, on the time track. I can then place this piece anywhere in my grid that I want. Each player has one of these grids, and you're trying to fill up the grid. The first person who makes a 7x7 seven seven square actually gets a bonus of seven buttons. This piece of fabric also has two buttons on that. That's because on this grid, anytime I pass a button piece on the grid, then I will get buttons for all the buttons that I have. So let's say, for example, uh, this is kind of what my thing looks like so far. By the way, you can rotate these pieces and flip them any way you want to get them in here. So let's say this is how it looks. I would get, anytime I pass the buttons, I'm going to get five buttons. After you decide what piece, that's where the new one is, and then the next person has a choice between the next three so they can choose that one, this one, or this one. And that's going to continue, and that's the way the game is. Obviously, these pieces are going to get smaller as time goes by. If you pass on the track here are some single patch pieces. When you pass, the first person to pass those is going to take one of those and place it in your thing. Sometimes that's the only way to fill up some of the small holes that appear on your uh, quilt. Uh, just for the record, on the back side of this is another track here. This one just happens to be a circular track. Uh, they're, they're, they're pretty close to the same thing, just for aesthetic reasons. At the end of the game, like I said, whoever has the most buttons is the winner, but you also lose point for each empty space on your quilt patch. So when you're taking these pieces, you are thinking, how big is the piece? How much time is it going to take? How many buttons is it going to cost me? You say, but what if you run out of buttons? Well, when that happens, let's say we're on the track here. And I'm here, yellow, it's my turn. Instead of taking a normal action, I can go one, two, three, four, and put myself one in front of the other person and then take as many buttons as I've moved. And if you're not careful with your button supply, you may end up having to do that. And so that's it. It's a very simple game, uh, but, and, and it's not too thinky because you only have three pieces to pick from on your turn. So you're simply gonna look, you get a starting supply of buttons that, to start the game off. So you're gonna buy some patches uh, and you got to think, okay, if I buy this, for example, this patch here costs 10, but it gets three buttons every time you pass a button. So I have to think, okay, this is going to cost me 10, but I still haven't passed one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to give me 18 buttons back. It gives me a net gain of eight. But how's this piece going to fit on the board? Can I even fit this piece on my board? How many spaces am I leaving open? Because if you, you want to try to be as compact as you can, so you can fit new pieces in. But if you're not careful, you'll have a lot of negative points at the end of the game.
At the same time, as I have discovered, if you ignore getting these pieces of buttons on and don't get a steady button income going, you will just dry up, a, you know, your economy will dry up and you won't be able to buy anything. So this isn't super heavy, but it's light. It's certainly different feeling. There's a lot of games where you're placing the shapes on a board, but this one is different because it adds in that button economy, and I like that. Also has great graphic design, looks good. Pretty fast game too. Uh, what does the box here say? It says 30 minutes, but it's probably more like 20 or so, and that's pretty good for a game like this. Check it out, Patchwork. Dice Tower Judgment, approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut, Shut the, the door! door. Yeah. Boom.